Exercise 1619, Operating Activities section. So we're just going to do the Operating Activities section in this um, homework assignment because that is the most difficult and most complex of all the three of all the four sections. So here's the records of Paramount Color Engraving, and they want us to compute. Cash flows from operating activities using the indirect method for the year ended December 31st. Use a parentheses or minus sign for numbers to be subtracted and to show net cash used for operating activities. If a box is not to be used in the table, leave the box empty. Do not select the label or enter a zero. So we've got our operating section, cash flow from operating activities. So we always start off with net income. Net income. $40,000, okay? And using our cheat sheet, remember the things that go in our operating activity section are, after net income, depreciation. We're gonna add that back in. Now remember, if you forget why we add or subtract these, you can go back and rewatch the videos. I've tagged the video names over here because it's easy to forget because there's a lot of information in this chapter. So we have gains or losses. We're going to back those out, if any. And we're going to see if any current assets increased or decreased, and then if any current liabilities increased or decreased. So that's what we're working on now. So we've got net income, so let's work on depreciation. Notice depreciation is going to be added back in. And our depreciation expense is 11000 And now, according to our cheat sheet, we need to check for gains and losses, which would appear on the income statement, but this is just a table. So we've got a loss on the sale of land. And our cheat sheet says loss on a sale of land. You're going to add that back in. We're backing that out. How do you back out a loss? A loss was subtracted, so you have to add it back in. Loss on sale of land, $5,000. And we got that from here. Okay, we don't have any gains. So now, moving on, we're going to analyze our current assets. So let's look through our table for changes in current assets. Here we go, increase in current assets other than cash. So if our cash, if our current assets increased, let me plug this in here. If our current assets increase, we must have purchased them, which means our cash must have gone down. So we have to subtract that. And let's just double check our rule. If there's an increase in current assets other than cash, we have to subtract that. And then we're going to look for changes in current liabilities. Here we've got a decrease in current liabilities, 24000 Now this one is also pretty easy to logic our way through without looking at the rule. If our current liabilities decreased, we must have paid them off. Therefore, cash went down. So we are going to subtract the 24000 And I just noticed I have a mistake up here. This should be minus 15,000. The minus 15,000 was our increase in current assets. And then the minus 24,000 comes from our decrease in current liabilities. And just to prove to you that that's the way our rules work on our cheat sheet, if we have a decrease in current liabilities, we need to subtract from the operating section. Okay, let's see if we missed anything. Sales revenue, now remember revenue does go in the operating section, but it's already embedded in net income, so do not double count it. And, and our acquisition of land, land is a long-term asset. Long-term assets go in the investing section. In this problem, we're only doing the operating activity section. So we've checked off everything we can. Now what we're gonna do is we need to total these. And when we total these, we get minus $23,000. Make sure you put the minus in there. 
And then to get our net cash provided by operating activities, we take the positive 40,000, subtract the 23,000, and we get positive $17,000. So what this means is the company has positive cash flow from operating activities, from buying and selling their products and services. And remember, the operating activity section is by far the most important um, section of the statement of cash flows. And don't assume that all companies or even most companies have positive cash flow from operating. A lot of them do not.